drama writers, I think that you are experiencing a lot of burnout right now. And I think you are doing a really good thing, or at least you should be doing a really good thing and taking a step back and just taking a pause. Let me tell you how I got there. We have the emperor reversed, which means there was a lack of boundaries or you have a lack of boundaries, maybe a lack of protection. The 10 of wands reversed. Whenever a 10 comes up, it's completion. And for me, when a 10 comes up reversed, it means that the clearant hasn't accepted the ending. And so they need to accept the ending in order to flip it so that they can move on to the next section. Now, because of the 10 of wands is usually about uh, carrying too much on your back, You've probably delegated some stuff. You've probably released a lot of stuff to other people and just allowing yourself to take some that much needed rest. If you're not delegating, you probably need to start thinking about doing that. You are emotionally happy. Like you feel like you accomplished a lot. Your feelings are valid. You understand that. You have people around you. You can invite for drinks. So you do feel like you have a chosen family. Originally with this nine of pentacles reversed, I wrote that you're not comfortable in your surroundings. But actually now that I'm looking at some of the cards, it to me it says that you are actually happy on the inside with your surroundings, your what you've accomplished, your material items, and how far you've come. We have temperance here. Temperance, uh, you know how much you can indulge in something before it becomes an addiction. With the Page of Wands reverse, I like to think of the pages as a the production assistants of the tarot. And this particular page is learning how to uh, control their fire, their inner fire, their creative passion, their energies. And I kind of think that you are just taking a step back from that, uh, which is all good. I think that that's a good thing. We have the Six of Cups, which is about memories, happy memories. You're probably uh, looking back on easier times. If you're not looking back on easier times, you probably want to start doing that just to use that as a recharge. When I wrote down the King of Swords, because it was reversed, it almost felt like your thoughts, you were keeping some thoughts to yourself, spinning your wheels, um, not being as thoughtful or as communicative as you probably should be. I also have the Knight of Pentacles reversed, and I actually wrote down wanting to move something really, really fast. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight. This knight likes to uh, have all of his T's crossed and all of his I's dotted before he makes a move. So now that I'm looking at the rest of the spread, though, instead of you wanting to make a move, it actually seems like you're taking an even further step back and not making any plans whatsoever. So, which I kind of think is a good thing. And I'll tell I'm going to tell you why I think all of this is a good thing in just a second. On the bottom of the deck, we have the chariot. And the chariot is all about you being in control. The chariot, she is Miranda Priestley in The Devil Wears Prada. She's claimed her, uh, her control. And so she is able to keep people um, on her wavelength, on, in her realm. Uh, they are afraid of her. So that's something I think that you are embracing right now. And I do think that's a good thing. Um, like I said, I think you've recognized that it's time to take a break. You're recharging, you're reflecting, you're reassessing. Uh, you are experiencing a little bit of burnout. You probably just finished a very big draft or a very big part of the project. And you just need to, you understand that it's time to take a break. And this is how I know that you I got there. The numbers you want to pay attention to are 4, 10, 9, 9, 14, 1, 6, 4, 2, and 7. Now, if you add all those up, you get the number 66. 6 plus 6 equals 12. 12 in the major arcana is the hanged man. The hanged man is all about taking things slow, going, taking, taking a moment, maybe possibly seeing something from another person's point of view. Elementally wise, we have earth, air, fire, and water. And air is your weakest link. You do have a lot of fire going on. So I think that's probably why you're feeling a little bit burnt out. I am going to advise you to pay attention to the air signs, uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, and try to adopt some of those into your King of Swords to know what you're going to do next. Your major arcanas that came up, uh, you did get two fires and one water. Those are your strongest elements, but I think that that's because you're experiencing burnout. I, I So I wouldn't recommend looking at those. Adding too much of fire or water at this moment is probably going to burn you out even more. So that's why I'm giving you the, ast the astrology homework of looking at Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. 
the colors that you want to pay attention to, I got clear, but it was more like water in clearness. And then also like a light blue. And there's a lot of light blue here. Uh, there's some, for some reason, this turquoise kept coming out, even though it's not light blue, but there's some light blue in the background. Um, this light blue, this light, like not the light blue here, but the light blue on her nightgown here, the light blue here on her dress. That's just kind of the color that came up to me. And I'm wondering, actually, because light blue and clear uh, feel a little bit more like water, I'm wondering if you need to hydrate. I do pull three extra cards, and here we have moving on up. It's in reverse. I do think that you are taking a break. I do think that uh, you are doing what you're doing some self care. If you are not doing some self care, I think it's time to do some self care. I also have snake. Snakes strike. So I'm wondering if maybe you're waiting to strike on something at the perfect moment. And the uh, this card I have is. How can you make your latest scene the most memorable in the book? Memorable can be small moments or a line of dialogue. It doesn't have to be a battle. I'm going to go through a couple of Meryl Streep movies that you probably might want to watch in order to maybe understand while you're in your little break time and your little hermit phase. Margaret Thatcher in The Iron Lady. Uh, Clarissa Vaughn in The Hours. Jane Adler in It's Complicated. Anne-Marie in Julia. Tru Julia Child in Julia and Julia, or I'm sorry, Julie and Julia. Camila Boner, Bowner in Web Therapy. Uh, Leela Wittenbor Wittenborn in Evening. Kay Graham in The Post. The Woman in The Music of Regret. And lastly, Miranda Priestley in The Devil Wears Prada. With that, I'm Chris, and my expertise helps screenwriters and authors complete three to eight detailed outlines in less than a year. It could go up to 12. It depends on how much you write and what your writing process is. I can also work with that. I believe that when a writer looks at these cards and the images, it can help them get more in tune with the, what they're writing before they write a single word, so that when they are writing it, they it's coming out more authentically, and they are actually in, like, encased in their own world, thus bringing the world to life even more for their reader. If you do want to experience how tarot can help you write a complete story, I do have a free 15-minute exercise in my the link in my profile where I will lead you to uh, write a beginning, a middle, and an end of a story using tarot cards. With that, I'd like to invite you to like, subscribe, follow, and share, and I will see you in the next one.